Hey everyone, I am back today to talk about some empties. Now I want to try to do these more frequently uh, so I don't get out of hand. I think one of my last videos, empties videos, it was like six months of empties and it was too much. So I've got a box and when, when this box fills up, which it has, I want to talk about them. So that's what we're doing today. Now, uh, if you do follow me on TikTok, you'll see me talk about these because what I tend to do is when I've got five empties, I'll sort of rank them um, and I'll tell you which one I'm more, more likely to repurchase and which one I'm least likely to and why. So these are probably familiar, but let's let's talk about them all together. In an interesting turn of events, I've only got one makeup item. So let's talk about that first. And it is a uh, concealer from Maybelline. This is the Superstay Active Wear Concealer. My shade is 15. I panned this. I didn't like this. I think I ended up using it more as like a foundation just to get rid of it quickly. Um, Maybelline do such good concealers. The Adri Wine Concealer is fantastic. Just take that ugly, gross, yuck sponge off and just click it out onto your hand and apply it with your fingers or a clean sponge or a brush, whatever you want. Um, their Fit Me is one of my all-time favorites. So the fact that this was just fell flat. It just wasn't great. There wasn't anything particularly bad about it. It just, look, I don't need something that's full coverage. This was sort of a lower coverage, but I also found that it sat a little bit sheer and a little bit settling into lines. And it just, for something that's supposed to last 30 hours, I don't think it was great. It also looked a little bit drying at times. It just, it didn't sit well under every powder that I've got. Um, there's just, I just wouldn't repurchase it. So that is not, that is going. See you later. Uh, let's talk about some face skincare because I feel like that's fun. Um, a product that I really, really love and have different versions of. Um, this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This was from the holiday pack. It's a blueberry scent, so it's a limited edition scent. I think there's a pear one and a something else in there. So I've got two of these still to use. And I've also got a massive, um, I think it's a 200 gram original one because that's my favorite it's like lime scented so i love this it's a great cleansing balm um if you wear a bit of makeup because what it tends to do and if you've got like oilier skin what it tends to do is it doesn't leave a film on the face so if you've got drier skin maybe you like that sort of slight oil residue on your face i hate it it drives me absolutely crazy this as soon as it touches your face it melts into an oil so it's like a solid version of a cleansing oil so it's great to take traveling with you because it won't spill or leak it's in a solid form um and it just yeah it melts away the makeup so you apply it to your dry face um you just rub it in melts away makeup it doesn't sting my eyes and then you just wash it off it turns into a milk and just completely washes off with no greasy residue. So I tend to do a double cleanse at that stage just because I do, um, but I, I love it. This is fantastic. So I have other ones, obviously. This blueberry scent wasn't my fave, um, but it was fine. Let's jump around. Uh, this product I hated. Um, this was from Mecca Cosmetica. Historically, I really love their products. I love their sunscreen. Um, I love their moisturizer. I love a lot of their products. This face oil, not great. This was a birthday gift. So if you're Beauty Loop member, this was a birthday gift. Uh, I'm level one right down the bottom. Um, this is the Everyday Face Oil. It was so greasy. And yes, oils are supposed to be oily. I get that. But I have skin that is oily combination. Lately, because of the cold weather, we're in winter now, um, I get dryness. So I do need something that's quite moisturizing and giving me like oils back into my face. So I like oils. I find rosehip oils on my skin uh, sink in. It doesn't feel slippery and it doesn't like stay like a layer on your skin. This sat on your skin and smelt so bad as well. I've read comments, um, reviews on their site. Some people can't handle the scent. It does have a really strong, it's a spicy kind of scent. And I don't, I don't mind it. Like if I love the oil, I would be fine with the smell. But if you've got if you don't like a really strong scented thing, you will hate this. And if you don't like a like a film of oil just sitting on your face instead of it actually absorbing into your skin, you'll also hate this. I I couldn't stand it. I had to use it up in my body because I could not stand it. I didn't even like it on my body. That's how much I didn't like it. Onto another thing that I do like. So let's jump around. Um, Strivectin. This is great. Um, let's just turn this brightness down a bit. Um, 
so you can see it. Uh, this is it's a multi-action Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. So predominantly vitamin C, great. I have gone through phases in the past where I've heard that vitamin C, like especially this is like going on 10 years ago, um, vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C, you gotta have vitamin C. And so I use vitamin C and I use like the strongest amount because I'm like, go big or go home. Use a high percentage, a really active one, da, da, da. and it, I think it totally ruined my skin. I think it, the sort of, I don't know, the acid, acid mantle, I don't know. My, it just broke, I think it just, it did something to my skin that just made me become really sensitive. Um, and I think when I was using a lot of vitamin C is when I started getting a lot of redness in my cheeks and feeling like um, things kind of become very flushed very quickly. Um, and I think it was overuse of strong vitamin Cs. This one didn't do that to me, which was great. So this one I felt was a lot more gentle. I feel like it made my skin feel nice. It was comfortable to use and I didn't have any issues. This says you can use it morning and night. I only used it during the day and I really liked it. My hesitation about buying it again is it's 112 Australian dollars. And for someone that isn't like, uh, that doesn't see like crazy good results from vitamin C, it's a bit expensive. I'd prefer to put that into a retinol or um, something else that I see better results with. But if I saw this in a pack or on sale, I would buy the crap out of it because it was for me, a very good vitamin C and it didn't irritate my skin, which was fantastic. Let's jump back to a negative. Um, Fourth Ray Beauty, this is the Night Dew Hydrating Jelly Mask. It was fine. It's just a gel that was very thin and watery, had a very strong fake cucumber scent, which I didn't like. It sort of, it was trying to be high end and like Estee Lauder, um, but fell flat. Uh, again, I use this on my body because I didn't really like it. It was just wet and especially in winter, takes very long for this to dry on your face. And you're standing there in the bathroom with like wet face and you're like, hurry up and dry, hurry, and it's just cold and annoying. So I, this was fine if you wanna get into sort of hydrating jelly masks and try that sort of gel consistency. Okay, maybe give it a go. I just, oh yeah, I, I was sort of, I didn't love it. One I liked a bit more, but it's the same sort of concept. This is by Mecca Max, and it's the Night Duty Hydrating Overnight Jelly Mask with Vitamin C and Ceramide NP. Um, this one, I felt like it was, had a little bit more substance to it. It wasn't just so wet and turning into water on your face. This, I think I can get a little bit of this out to show you. Um, this was a little bit thicker. Um, the only thing is, oh, hang on, I've just dropped some on my pants. So it is a little bit of a thicker gel, but it does smooth out to being a wet consistency, which is what a gel does, it's hydrating. For me, I felt like this, um, I needed to layer it underneath a thicker moisturizer to sort of keep it in. Otherwise I felt like it sort of dried and made me feel not drier, that's the wrong term, but not, I didn't feel hydrated. So this one, um, yeah, I thought this Mecca Max brand is a pretty good one because it's vegan, cruelty free, and at a more affordable price point than Mecca Cosmetica. So I would, this is not a step in my routine that I usually use, is what I'm saying. If I, if it was, I would repurchase this one over the Fourth Ray Beauty one in a heartbeat. Um, and I, it was nice, it just wasn't, maybe in summer when I want something a little bit cooler and sort of yeah lighter i might try that again but in winter i'm just like i'm actually getting dryish skin and i don't know how to cope with it because i'm so used to having oily skin so um yeah that one i wouldn't repurchase it now Another product for hydration, I actually quite liked this. It was from uh, Cetaphil. It's Optimal Hydration Healthy Glow Daily Cream. It's a hydrosensitive complex with hyaluronic acid. This was actually quite nice. Again, this was sort of like a moisturizer, but um, not a heavy sort of big greasy moisturizer. This is one that I would probably like layer over this, um, but I just felt like it did a really good job at quenching my dry skin without it feeling too greasy and overloaded and it, it was nice. This really affordable brand, you can buy it like anywhere you buy Cetaphil, which is a lot of places like Chemist Warehouse and Priceline and I think the supermarket. So um, yeah, if you want something that's on a bit of a budget, but is good at hydrating, uh, I like this. I would consider repurchasing that. Let's keep on the moisturizer train. Um, Bondi Sands, this is the Daydream Hydrating Whipped Moisturizer with Desert Lime Extract. This was fine. I just felt like this was a bog standard 
moisturizer. Like it, it didn't do anything bad. It didn't do anything amazing. If you just want a moisturizer that moisturizes the skin and that, that's it. Um, it seemed really basic, but it worked. I would say that the Cetaphil one for me was a little bit more effective at hydrating my skin and keeping it sort of plump. So I would go for this over this, but I had no issues with this. It just wasn't something that I'm like, oh my God, you need to get it. It makes your skin feel amazing. But if you want a moisturizer that works and moisturizes your skin, sure, that was fine. I had this in my travel bag, um, which is why it's all stained because it was in with other packaging and stuff. But um, yeah, it, it was fine. It was fine. Last cream product. This is the AHC 365 Red Cream. It's a brightening and wrinkle care. This is sort of more where I'm at with my skin these days. I'm looking for something that helps with wrinkles and aging while also sort of doing something about um, my sort of winter skin that's struggling. Uh, so this is more like a thin, again, more like a gel. Let's get a little bit out. It's an airless pump, so there's not much left. But you get this brand uh, from Priceline, and it is a very, very popular Korean brand. Now, this was a very light moisturizer. So again, like it wasn't sort of thick and greasy. It was nice and sort of hydrating. Um, again, this was okay in summer on its own, but in winter, I would probably layer it with something a little bit, I don't know, just to sort of keep it all in and keep everything sort of juicy, but it was nice. I like this range. They've got a nice serum. Um, they've got a gel toner, which I really like. So, um, yeah, I like this. I would try more from it. My favorite thing from this brand actually is the eye cream for face. I've got like a hydrating, like an illuminating version. Um, it's beautiful. Essentially it's an eye cream that's in a bigger tube that you can put it all over your face. So you can get the benefit of the eye cream, but all over your face. I love that product. That's what I'd repurchase time and time from this brand. Um, but this was very nice. I, I liked it. Last two face products. I've got a cleanser. So this is by Murad. It's the prebiotic four in one, a multi cleanser. I liked this. Um, it's sort of like a gel cleanser that doesn't foam up. So if you've got dry skin, it is hydrating, but it's not like a cream cleanser where you're taking what feels like a moisturizer and washing your face with it. It's sort of like an in-between, like a hydrating gel, not too foamy, not too stripping. Uh, smells nice. I quite liked it. The only reason I'm not rushing out to get this product, um, I do like the range. It's actually um, I like a gel moisturizer in the rain in the range. It's really nice. I would totally buy this if I saw it in like a value pack or a Christmas pack. But on its own, it's like fifty something dollars in Australia. Uh, I, I have cheaper ones that I feel like give similar results. So I like it. I would use it again in the future, just not rushing out now. Last face skincare product is an eye serum. This is from Boost Lab um, and it is the Bioactive Eye Reset Serum. Now, I tried to use, I use this up by using it all over my face because I am very lazy when it comes to my eye area. I look, I am seeing signs of aging. I do get fine lines, um, but in terms of dark circles, puffiness, under eye bags, I don't get those knockwood at the moment. So I neglect my under eye area to be fair. I like to use a serum that I can sort of take up to my under eye area and a moisturizer that, like if I use a gel moisturizer, for example, I would sort of take it up. And then if I used a heavier moisturizer, I wouldn't because I do get milia around my eyes. So I just use my normal skincare up to my eye area, which some people wouldn't like to do, but my other under eye area, it's not sensitive. It's not, yeah, it's it's fine. It does its own thing. So I I wouldn't repurchase this just because it's a product I wouldn't use. Body products, I've only got four, and then I will talk about hair. Um, first one I want to talk about, I don't get this. This is from Annie Hunter, and it's a shower steamer mint refresher. Mind you as well, we've used a lot of bath bombs from Lush recently. My kid likes using them. I don't have packets here to show you, but we've been using a lot of bath bombs from Lush, and they're fun. I had a shower with my kid. And I enticed him to have a shower because he fights having showers and baths. Um, I enticed him by going, let's put this in. And this is um, sort of like a bath bomb for your shower. So you're supposed to put it in your shower away from the direct water flow. And it slowly bubbles and lets off sort of like fumes. That's the wrong term. Steaming stuff. Uh, it's got peppermint and eucalyptus oils and it's supposed to make like a spa in your home and encourage soothing vibes. I didn't, I don't know if my shower, the one that we use is too big. Um, I just, this just smelled like a little, like someone's just put a little bit of mint 
and eucalyptus oil in a corner. It didn't do anything interesting. It was just like this thing on the floor that was just like, and then it was gone. So I wouldn't repurchase this. It was very underwhelming. Um, and I, it was an anticlimax for my kids. So yeah, that's no, thank you. Hand wash from Imbachi. I bought three of these when they're on sale because I love the scent of their skincare. They have a signature scent that they put in most of their skincare and they've also got like candles. I love it. So I bought it in, oh, I love it. What even is the scent? I don't know, but it's just fresh and it's delightful and I love it. So I bought three hand washes because I love that scent. Um, I think I've got, have I used them all up now? Or do I have one left? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I've been using it in my downstairs bathroom for a while and I love it. The scent is so fresh and beautiful. I would definitely repurchase these, especially if I saw a sale, I'd buy another three. Two body washers that I didn't like. One is Molten Brown Fiery Pink Pepper Bath and Shower Gel. Um, shower gel is fine. It's just not a scent that I enjoyed. I actually used this up by cleaning my shower with it because I didn't like the scent and it was very strong and lingering. Um, and then Soul Body, this is the body wash. It had this sort of tropical, tropical, is that the right word? Sort of sunscreeny. Yeah, it's ugh, coconut and pineapple kind of scent, um, which I also don't like. So these, I used them up for the sake of using them up and I thought, look, I wash my body every day. We can get through them, but I did not enjoy them and I would not repurchase them. All right, onto hair products. I've got two conditioners and a shampoo that I'll go through first. So uh, shampoo and conditioner from Shea Moisture. This is the all day frizz control shampoo and conditioner. Now I liked these. I love the brand Shea Moisture. I think they do beautiful, that black soap for your body. I love, um, they are mainly designed for people with curly hair, which I've got sort of wavy curls. So I like the idea of them. I just find a lot of their range is too heavy for my hair. My hair gets weighed down really, really easily and looks really greasy really fast. So I need things that actually add volume and hopefully sort of minimize frizz while add it also adding volume, which is very hard to find. It's a daily struggle for me. Um, but this range I quite liked. So these don't have those heavy butters and oils that tend to weigh down my hair. They also smell amazing. It is um, papaya, neroli and elderflower. So it's like this sweet sort of, uh, it smells like, oh, what's that cordial? Fruit cup cordial. It kind of smells like that sweet, but like fruity. It was just really nice. My, uh, look, I liked these. Look, I did like using these and I would buy more from the brand. But in terms of repurchasing these, I think if I did, it would be for the scent. Um, I felt like it didn't really detangle my hair much. Also having wa wavy sort of fine hair, I, my hair gets really tangled. And I felt like the conditioner in particular didn't do enough detangling. The shampoo I'd probably repurchase, the conditioner just wasn't enough. It just felt like you're putting something in to go through the motions, but it wasn't really softening and detangling. Whereas, yeah, so I would purchase the shampoo, probably not the conditioner. One epic conditioner for my hair type, and I wouldn't repurchase this because it's so expensive, but it was very good. This is from Living Proof. It's the full conditioner. So it says that it weightlessly hydrates, and I love this. I've got the shampoo version in my shower. I went through this fairly, not quickly, because I've had it for a long time, um, but I've still got half a bottle of the shampoo. So usually I wait so I can talk about them together in my empties, but I thought I'm not gonna wait because that's gonna take me a while to get through. Um, this was divine. So this did detangle and soften my hair and do everything conditioners need to do without weighing down my hair and coating it with too much heavy oils or butters that um, my hair doesn't like. This was exactly what I wanted in a conditioner, just at a much lower price point. When I bought this, I think it might've been like 30 something dollars. It was quite expensive. Now they're $51 each. Shampoo, conditioner, $51 each. Hell would freeze over before I buy a shampoo and, and conditioner, 236 mil bottles, which is not crazy big, uh, for over a hundred dollars. But just that idea just makes me want to cry. So yeah, I, I if it was a big bulk bottle, cool, I get it. This size, absolutely not. So I loved this, um, but I didn't love it enough to pay $51 for it. That's insane, but lovely product. But if you are happy to spend bougie amounts of money on your um, shampoo and conditioner, which look, I've spent 
decent money on like leave-in treatments and oils and bigger shampoo and conditioner bottles but this size like it, it frustrates me but but if you do have hair that can easily go flat and limp with um too many conditioning products this is a great one because it leaves a volume but it also makes your hair nice and soft so this was i like this this was great one of my favorite hair care brands is r and co and this was the oil this is the two-way mirror smoothing oil i couldn't take this away anywhere with me because the bottle did leak a little bit but it was a nice hair oil um it, i feel like if you put it in with, with dry hair and just a little bit like it does defrizz but it also adds a little bit of shine which is nice um i would consider repurchasing this uh i've just got a lot of oils at the moment but i do love r and co i love the scents makes your hair feel really nice and my hair type responds really well so far to all the r and co products i've tried I'm going to talk about these together because I have a sort of similar feeling. Um, this is the Alpha Keratin Virtue Restorative Treatment Mask. It's like a mini version. I got it in an advent calendar. This was very nice. So I got this in the Adore Beauty advent calendar. So hair masks aren't generally things I buy because they can weigh down my hair. This was really nice. It sort of nourished my hair, detangled, but also left it just feeling nice and smooth. My only issue is that this... Like once you then wash your hair again, it's it the effect is gone. And people will probably be like, yeah, obviously, cat, that's how mas hair masks work. But I sort of feel like if you're going to be spending more money on a mask, I don't want it to just do what a conditioner does. I sort of want, sort of, I don't know. I want it to, I don't know. I want more from it. I think it's my problem. But I did like this one. It was nice. Same sort of feeling about this husk hot oil hair treatment from the Argan oil range. Um, again, this sort of nice, made my hair feel smooth this probably weighed it down a little bit too much so this was probably a bit heavy for my hair but as soon as you wash your hair again like the effect is totally gone totally gone totally gone so i yeah this is a lot cheaper than this but i feel like i got more out of this than that if that makes sense we'll end with some sachets um i've got the gold fadden md bright eyes dark circle radiance concentrate this actually had a lot in it for a little sachet this was a little freebie kind of i think it was in my mecca beauty loop box and i got to use this for like a week or two and i think it was nice it didn't irritate my eyes it didn't cause any milia i think it was quite nice i if i was to go an eye cream i would probably i wouldn't be opposed to trying this uh the glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer this had like one use in it and it didn't wow me i didn't like besides it sort of smelling like artificial watermelon which I don't hate um it was it was okay it was it didn't change my life um this i think did change my life uh cerave moisturizing cream i actually bought this so from the sample i liked it i thought it's a nice winter moisturizer for me it's nice and thick um i am be i've been using it sort of put my hydrating stuff underneath and put this as like the final layer to hold everything in um the only thing i've noticed is sometimes my skin when I first put it on, it sort of feels a bit stingy, um, but that settles down pretty quickly. So it's not irritating, but it's, I, yeah, I have irritated skin, so things do sometimes sting. Um, but the feel of it's really nice, and I think it's a nice, especially if you buy it on sale, affordable, thick, sort of nourishing moisturizer that isn't too greasy and slippery and slimy. I, I like it. I think it's nice. Briogeo, this is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Uh, did not change my life. I, I prefer um, this one. I feel like this mask was better than this one. Um, I used up an Olay. This is the Regenerist Niacinamide Collagen Peptide 24 Sheet Mask. It was fine. Um, and I also used up, I got a couple of these. I think these were from Adore Beauty. Um, the Kerastase Hair Oil. I, this smells... I don't like the smell of it and it was very thick and sort of greasy so it's not a hair oil i've used this in the past but it was like 10 years ago um i think it's when i dyed my hair but now with my virgin hair uh this is this is too too oily for it i like a hair oil i use a hair oil often but i don't like one that just feels like it's weighing down my hair that irritates me but anyway that's all my empties now some people want to know what do i do with these empties well there are some that you just chuck out unfortunately but things like this, you wash them out and I take them to TerraCycle. Um, TerraCycle is a recycling program for makeup and cosmetics uh, in Australia. 
Pricelines have them, Sephora's have them, Mecca has them. There's like a box, a TerraCycle box, and a few other places have them. Uh, if you go on the TerraCycle website, they'll tell you your closest location. And luckily mine is a walking distance from me. So I wash these out. I take them to the TerraCycle box. Um, they do accept most makeup and skincare packaging. Um, some they don't, perfumes they don't. Uh, was it mascaras they don't? Or I have to look up the rules every time I do it. But essentially, if you can sort of wash these out as best as possible, you can take them to a place that will recycle them. So that is what I am going to do this afternoon is wash these out and put them in a bag so I can take them to TerraCycle. I will leave the link to it down below if you are interested. I believe it's only an Australian thing. Um, they are probably equivalent makeup recycling programs. Um, where you live possibly uh but yeah you're gonna have to do a bit of a google because i don't know before i go i do want to say that i had uh, i was surprised at the reaction i had on my duping stereo rose video um i am still on the hunt i think i found a pretty good dupe i posted it on my shorts um i post i did a longer discussion about it on tiktok it's just that shorts you have to keep it under 60 seconds TikTok let me talk for 10 minutes. So my TikToks are always long and rambly, but that's how I like to convey information. Um, but I am wearing Stereo Rose on my cheek here and I'm wearing my dupe here. So um, yeah, check out my shorts if you want to see more about that. But I have still made a short list of ones that I want to swatch in store or have a look at um, because I think the dupe, I don't know if it's a permanent product. So uh, I, yeah, eventually I'll use that up and I'm just curious. I want to, I want to find as many dupes as possible just out of curiosity. So uh, yeah, thank you for all the love on that video and all the great suggestions. Um, I bought one of the suggestions and I'm gonna keep looking into more and I probably will do a video down the track sort of concluding my search and which one I found that was best. So yeah, hopefully that video will be in the next month or so um, while I track some, track some products down. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. I'll have all the products talked about listed in the description box if you wanna check names and whatnot, and um, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye.